Hey guys, welcome to Fish Shook Outdoors. I'm Charles. I've got a cool treat today, a new recipe I want to try out, and uh, I've modified it as usual. That's what I normally do. I've got a maple rum glaze I've made up, and we're going to put it over delicious bacon wrapped cod chunks. This is fresh cod, uh, wild cod, and everything else. I've I'm, I'm a nut about organic, so I got a lot of organic ingredients for my spices and stuff. But you're going to love this. We're going to cook it two different ways, and we'll do a little different on this video. I'm going to take one batch, I'm going to put them under the broiler, cook them for a little bit until they're fork tender, and then I'm going to put the balance, I'm going to wrap them up and put them on a, on a uh, griddle top, on top of the stove top. And I think this is going to be an interesting comparison. I'm excited. Uh, my mouth is watering. I can't wait to taste these. I'm sure you guys love this. I'd like to see your comments. So hang around and we're going to get started. Well, here's our glaze. Maple rum. I know you can't see it too well, but let me tell you what we've got in it. And I'll have all the links to the recipe and everything uh, below the video. I've got minced garlic, maple syrup, I've got soy sauce, Dijon mustard, and our buddy Captain Morgan spiced rum. Really makes a difference. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these, cut these up, hopefully about one inch chunks. I haven't done this before, so I'm going to start. Gotta have a sharp knife, of course. We'll cut these in half, like that. And then we'll just wrap these. Yeah, I cut the bacon strips in half. This way I'll get a little more longevity and put a nice. Doesn't that look delicious? Isn't that delicious? These will go on the griddle top. And then I have some of these things soaking in water because those are the ones that will be put into the uh, broiler. So let's wrap up a couple more, and then I'm going to whisk them and uh, load them up in this um, maple glaze, maple rum glaze. Look at that. Oh, boy. So this is majorly exciting. I like this. These uh, things are so uh, large long these are uh, rather these bacon there we go this is delicious cod look at that beautiful beautiful white meat oh yeah should be fun we did a previous video on uh, bacon wrapped uh, scallops but I think we're taking it to a, I think we're taking it to a new level now yeah, they stay together pretty good. If you get a nice chunk of meat in there, look at that. Is that not a beautiful sight? So I'm going to continue wrapping these, and then I'll get back with you because I've got quite a few to wrap. I want to get as much as I can wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Wait till these things get sizzling, and we're going to coat them in this delicious glaze. So... Stick around, and uh, we'll meet up at the stove. All right, guys, we're at the stove now. Check this out. Do these not look beautiful? Look at that. They've been soaking in that maple rum glaze. I've got a bunch left over that we're going to baste them in this griddle pan. And then we've got the broiler ready now that we're going to put a batch in there first to get them started while we cook on the stove top. Here's our other batch. We've got a dozen each. Doesn't that look beautiful? We're going to put them in this pan here as a non-stick pan and get them ready to go under the broiler. Yeah, we're going to watch this carefully that they don't get overcooked. But these have soaked for a little bit 
in that delicious glaze. These are ready and we're going to put them in the oven now. Alright, we've got the broiler on high. We're going to put it in here for six to eight minutes and we're going to watch our time. Alright guys, we are ready. This is fairly hot. I put a little bit of oil on there just to ensure that it doesn't stick. And we're going to put, let's get these guys on here. I'm going nuts. Smell is sweet, literally sweet as honey. And now, we'll make sure we keep basting these. Look at this. Oh, is this delicious. I think these things are going to taste awesome. Well, anything I get baked with well, does taste good. We've got a medium-high heat right now, and uh, we're going to let this cook for just a little bit. It helps if you have an, a non-stick, and a griddle pan is great. You drop a lot of the unnecessary grease, you can do that as well. And to cook them a little faster, if you wanted to, I could put a lid on this and cover it up and capture the steam, but I want to cook them like this for a little bit. And these look delicious. Baste them a little bit more. These were soaked originally in this maple glaze. Man, they are looking delicious. Want to get them a little bit crispy. I think these guys are ready now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that meat. The fish just flakes off. Look at that. All right, guys. This is the first one. Let me get the... It really helps when you um, soak your uh, toothpicks. They don't get burned. Wow. This is all or nothing. Mm. Oh man. Do <laughs> yeah, this is this is another ridiculous dish. This is excellent. The sweetness of that rum comes out and the maple syrup. You can't have enough of that. And for some for some reason it just goes great with fish having a sweet sauce with this. This is excellent. You season your fish the way you guys like it. I omitted that step. I put salt and pepper and all that on my fish, but that's what really makes the difference. This is excellent. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Well, now you see it, now you know. Mm. Woo. Man, I could demolish all of these right now. These were, these are delicious. And I have them in the oven now. We're gonna check the broiler real quick. Just got a little bit more to go. Look at these. Are these not delicious? Look at that. Oh yeah. I raised them up in the broiler for the last two or three minutes just to blacken them a little bit. We're gonna do the taste test right now. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. We'll see how close I can get. I don't want it to be blurry. Look at that. These are hot. These are really hot. But I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna do my job for my country here. Oh, wow. You know what, I think these are extremely hot. I'm not, I'm not that brave. <laughs> to do a, a whole one, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, these are ridiculously delicious. Look at that. Just look at that. Is that not delicious? I love it. I love it. Here we go. Mm. Man, that cod tastes off the charts. It's a cold water fish, white firm flesh, cod, halibut, haddock, there's some other ones that come in that, and that waters of either in Alaska, up or toward Newfoundland, up in that part by Bangor, Maine, in that, that area, the Bay of Maine. It is out of this world. We caught cod, too, when we were in Bangor, too. So this is tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. I want you guys to try this. Um, to be honest with you, I like them both equally. They have distinct differences in taste. I have to, to be honest with you. This is not as burned. I didn't leave it that much. Now you guys can crisp it up a whole lot more under the broiler if you want that taste. It's not as crispy as on the uh, the griddle. I love the griddle. I gotta be honest with you. I, that's probably my favorite. I can get my hands in it during the whole cooking process and I like that. And magic, that's how magic happens. You add a little bit, you touch it up, you glaze it some more. I only glazed it <clears throat> once or twice while it was in the oven and flipped them. But this is <coughs> off the charts. So I'm really looking forward to you guys' comments. Um, Fish Hook Outdoors is just that, about outdoors. It's cooking, hunting, fishing, camping, everything to do with outdoors. And I'm going to tell you something. Everything always comes back down to where? The dinner table. Always. You have fun. You have friends and family over. Uh, you're... Uh, sitting around by the campfire, you're not just sitting there with it. You either have a cup of coffee, something to eat, you're eating dinner or breakfast. It's just that camaraderie that is priceless. And this is easy to do that I can easily do even if I'm in my tent. I can put it on the hot stove and cook these up, have these made ahead of time and have them marinating the whole time and just slap them on, on the grill. I'm telling you. I have, to, I have all to do not to eat all these before my wife comes home. So when she comes home, if she wants to say something to you, her, she's losing her voice today, so I don't know if she'll be able to talk. But if she is, she's going to love this. I know this. This is another one over the top. Guys, I appreciate you uh, checking in with us. I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Give me a, a like. And I love your comments. I love them. Uh, I try to answer everybody. If, I hope I didn't miss anybody. But keep them coming in. 
want to grow the channel, and, and I, can't, I can't do it without you folks. So guys, have a great week. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next one.